Hey guys, so I ate a can of spinach today, which is something that, you know, I wouldn't think that I would have ever done. Uh, I, I've accumulated all of these cans of vegetables over the years because I'm always about to start eating healthy for real this time. At least that's what I've always told myself, but they just sit in the pantry and I never, ever, ever, ever eat them. I, I'm not a huge vegetable person. I never have been or fruit. Uh, which is should be no surprise, uh, you know. Obviously, I, I'm into other things besides vegetables and fruit. Um, but uh, you know, since I started this plan, which I started uh, five days ago, it calls for 10 ounces of vegetables for lunch and 10 ounces 10 ounces for dinner, and that's a whole can each time. So I'm, I'm eating two cans of vegetables per day, and you know, after five days. All of those years of vegetables I've accumulated are, are gone. And all I had left was, was this can of spinach. And I, I remember when I bought it, it was years ago, and I was like, you know, Popeye, spinach, this is going to be awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat this, and I'm going to feel amazing. And, uh, you know, Popeye is full of it because uh, I've seen him eat that spinach, and this stuff looked like slimy seaweed. And his spinach was not like that. And I guess you could probably get it like, like, uh, but it, you know, the, the, the can I bought had Popeye's face on it. So in, in my, in my opinion, you know, that's just deceptive marketing on Popeye's part. And I think, uh, you know, he should be held accountable. But anyway, I, I ate it. I, I just, you know, I was just shoveling it in. Uh, luckily I thought ahead cause I, I realized how bad it smelled and how the texture is just, I mean, what is the difference between spinach and seaweed? Does anyone know? I don't. Um, anyway, uh, so I, I, I can have uh, four ounces of carbs. I can't have any flour. So I, I, I have this bread. It's called Ezekiel bread. You get it at the, the health store. Uh, any sprouted grain bread would work, I guess. Um, and, and that allows me to be able to make a cheeseburger, which, you know, I love cheeseburgers. So, you know, I have like, a three ounce patty of, of, uh, of beef that I cooked in the George Foreman. And I, I get to have five ounces of protein and cheese also counts as protein. So I can take my three ounce patty beef and, and just pile on the, the cheese until it gets up to five ounces and put it on the Ezekiel bread, which takes like about three ounces of my carbs. And then, uh, my niece eats these little kid fresh tater tots. And they don't have any anything bad in them. They're like cabbage based and, and stuff. So, and they, they're really good. So I, I sneak in three of those to get it up to four, and it's a pretty good meal, uh, except for the spinach part. But uh, you know, I washed it all down with a nice cheeseburger. Um, so uh, the the diet's been going well. I've never eaten this healthy in my life. I've been eating oh, what do I have? Three vegetables per day, and 20 ounces of, or no, three, three fruits per day and 20 ounces of vegetables per day. And, you know, that's, uh, a lot. <clears throat> so not, not what I'm used to, but I, I really do feel different. I feel different. I feel I have more energy and, and, um, I think I'm going through a little bit of sugar withdrawal still because I, I'm still kind of fuzzy headed and a little irritable and emotional really. I, <laughs> and uh, sometimes when I eat, I feel like my body's going to kill me if I don't eat something else. Because it's like, no, 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 that's not what I needed. I need I need something else. Uh, you know, maybe, mm, I don't know, a fucking pound of sugar. How about that? No, 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 no body. No. Just got to say no. Uh, <laughs> so um, that is going well. And I'm really, uh, you know, happy that I've, I've done this and stuck with it. Uh you know, this, this last couple weeks has been pretty tough on me emotionally. Uh, I'm not used to being alone. Uh, I haven't been alone in a really long time. And, you know, it's kind of it's kind of sad sometimes. Uh, you know, I get sad. And uh, what, what I'm really happy about is even when I get sad, I, I've still been doing the things I need to do. I've still been, you know, I, I make a list uh, in the morning of things that I want to get done. And then, you know, I work on it all day and <clears throat> I, I've been doing it. And even when I feel like, 
you know, crawling in bed and hiding, which is a lot. <laughs> uh, I still am doing it, and I think it's helping. Um, I know that, you know, after being in, in such a long relationship, it's going to take time. And I know it's going to suck for a while. And I've, I've accepted that. And I think that helps a lot, too. You know, just the fact that I've accepted how I feel and, and I know I'm going to feel that way. But I know it's going to get better. And I just have to keep going forward. And the more forward I go, the better it's going to get. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting in the work today for a better tomorrow. Um, speaking of a better tomorrow, there is something that uh, has... has really been on my mind and, and really has troubled me. Um, and what, what happened was I, you know, my, my niece's first day of preschool, I took her and, and I used to take her every day. Um, and, and this was last year and I would take her every day and, and, and pick her up every day. And I was involved, you know, I knew her teachers, I knew her classmates. Um, and, you know, I, I got all of her artwork and, you know, I knew how she was doing and it was the routine we had. When I got depressed and when I uh, lost control of the binge eating and really sunk, I, I put on weight. I put on a lot of weight and I got to where I could not walk into the school. And I, I didn't have a choice at the time but to, you know, tell her mom that, that I couldn't do it anymore. And because of that, at a place when I was, you know, at my lowest, and really all I had, all I had was was her, my niece. You know, she was the the one singular bright spot in my life. And because I couldn't walk, I lost that. I, you know, she couldn't stay with me. I couldn't watch her. Um, you know, four days a week, it, it went down to one for a while, um, because they had to have other arrangements to get her to school and pick her up. So, uh, my sister found a, a babysitter and, and she's been going there. Um, and you know, that has bothered me so much. Uh, you know, it really just broke my heart because she would ask me, you know, she would say, Hey, why don't you take me to school anymore? Or I want you to take me to school or you never take me to school anymore. Sadly, she'd say that. And it just killed me. And you know, that out of all the goals that I set, that is by far the most important one to me, uh, you know, and I, I've been fighting and I, I've been doing the things that I need to do, um, you know, since January and I've been getting around better and it's hard. It's such a struggle, um, but I keep on pushing it. And, and in the last week, I've noticed a huge difference, um, you know, the, the weight loss, uh, compiled with how much I've been moving has, has really made a difference. And, you know, I was out today weed eating and, you know, doing yard work and I've been working around the house a lot. And, you know, I walked, uh, you know, the 10 blocks uptown to pay my water bill and back. And I, I've just been doing stuff and I realized, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready. So I told um, her mom that on Friday I was going to take her to school this next Friday. Uh, and I think, I think I should be okay. Um, but I'm going to do it and it might be hard. It probably will be hard because it's, it's a long walk and there's a lot of standing. Walking isn't as bad as standing for me. I could walk, you know, I could walk. Uh, but when I stand still, that's when my back starts, uh, breaking down and it's kind of like a countdown. And once it gets to zero, there's no, you know, there's no, uh, getting back up without, without resting it. You have to, I have to sit down and allow it to recover before I can get back up. I mean, it doesn't take that long, but inside the school, there, there are no chairs of any kind, uh, except tiny little ones for, for the little ones. And uh, I dare not try one of those. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, I think I can do it. I think it's probably going to be pretty painful for my back by the time I get back to my truck. But I also know that every single day after that is going to be better than the one before. And, you know, I, I'm perfectly willing to, to, you know, deal with that pain just so that I can, you know, uh, be able to do that again and be able to take her again before she's out of preschool, which is, isn't too far. Um, you know, I just want to be able to take her to school because she wants me to, you know, I want to see her classroom, see what she's doing and all that. Um, 
so I'm excited about that. I'll let you guys know how it, how it goes. Um, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys again soon.